from across the islands on KGMB and KHNL. This is your source for breaking news. Hawaii News Now at 5. First tonight at 5, an aircraft goes down on Oahu's North Shore. Two people are dead. Here's what we know so far. The emergency call came in at 9.20 this morning. The FAA's preliminary investigation revealed that the crash happened after the aircraft took off at Dillingham Airfield. The facility is closed until further notice. Emergency Medical Services identified the two people on board as men in their 60s and 70s. They were both experienced pilots. Their names have not been released. We've, we have team coverage tonight. Rick Daysog details the history of problems with the airfield. Jennifer Robbins will talk about the weather conditions, but we start with Ben Gutierrez live at the scene with the latest. Ben. Thanks very much, Lynn. Of course, in the distance, you can see the yellow fire trucks. That's a command post that has been set up on the Malka side of the runway here at Dillingham Airfield. The crash scene itself some 50 yards past that. Meanwhile, on a day like today, right now, would, the sky would likely be filled with aircraft towing gliders or dropping off skydivers. But the air above the field is very quiet this afternoon as authorities begin the process of piecing together exactly what happened. Officials say the plane took off at about 9.20 a.m. on a training flight with two pilots aboard. Witnesses say it wasn't long before it appeared to have trouble. It took off and then right about by the, by the height of their bushes, it just uh, cut, cut motor and then started off and then sputtered and then right behind that thing it just took a dive. When the power came back on, it, it went into a nose up, uh, a bit of a nose up attitude and, and just flipped over and nosed into the ground. The plane ended up in a grassy area, just mocha of the airfield itself. Um, it's close and nearby, but it's technically off of the airfield property and owned uh, on, uh, by a piece of property owned by the U.S. Army. One person was pronounced dead at the scene. The other was rushed in critical condition to the hospital where he died shortly afterward. The plane was a single-engine Cessna owned by a Honolulu Soaring Club and was used to tow gliders. There was not a glider in tow. It was just pilot training. Both men aboard were familiar to everyone at the airfield. These two guys loved Dillingham Airfield. They loved to fly. They loved to fly out of Dillingham Airfield. They did everything uh, out of here and with great heart for this place. One of the pilots was a so-called check pilot, training the other man on the aircraft. The pilot who was doing the checkout was highly experienced in the, in the air, in, in that type of aircraft. But Blakely says the other pilot, while experienced, was new to this type of Cessna. An investigator from the National Transportation Safety Board is expected to arrive here tomorrow as early as perhaps even 8 a.m. In the meantime, the airfield and the airspace above it are closed until further notice. Reporting live from Dillingham Airfield in Mukulea, Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now. Ben, thank you. Just minutes ago, Governor David Ige issued this statement. It is with great sorrow that I express my deepest condolences to the victim's families, friends, and all of those touched by the tragic plane crash that occurred this morning near the Dillingham Airfield. We thank the witnesses and emergency responders who converged on the scene to help. More now on that aircraft, the single engine Cessna Ector 305A was meant to lift glider aircraft to a safe height. The gliders have to get up high enough so they catch the lift that's generated by the wind blowing against the side of the mountain. So uh, they use an airplane with a uh, tow rope that's hooked to the glider and the airplane takes off, the glider goes behind them and they tow them up high enough so that the Glider then releases and can continue on its own. According to NTSB records, the aircraft involved in today's crash ran into another problem at Mokule'ia. Records show November of 2013, the airplane abruptly stopped and nosed over. One person suffered minor injuries. Investigators determined that the right brake locked up. It was fixed and records show it continued normal operations. The crash comes as the state prepares to end its lease for Dillingham Airfield. After 48 years, the Army owns the land and they are trying to figure out the next